We're approaching the halfway point of 2021. Thank God. So it's time for us to talk about our favorite games we've stumbled across in this half of the year. Some of the games on this list may have been in beta for a little while before or out on other platforms, but it is this year when they popped up on our radar. So here's our top five mobile games of 2021 so far. An all new JRPG from the creator of Final Fantasy was always gonna generate excitement. But when Fantasian was announced as a mobile exclusive for Apple Arcade, some people were a bit upset. Not us, of course. We know full well that, when done right, turn-based RPGs suit touchscreen platforms down to the ground. Fantasian is a great example of form serving function, built from the ground up to incorporate gestures and tap intuitive menus. As for the game, well, it's a familiar delight, including a lot of the elements that Final Fantasy enthusiasts adore about the series. You got your magic, your monsters, a spot of amnesia, forests, deserts, airships, and a soundtrack to die for. You already know if you're in the bag for this, so if you have Apple Arcade, then what are you waiting for? Northgard focuses on the collective. You won't be fighting one-on-one -on -one with mythological beasts in this Viking adventure. Instead, this real-time strategy game is about clans, not heroes. You've got to establish your Viking colony, expand through the land, find treasure, and tackle enemies as a group. You've got to look after your outlander family, watch your food supplies, your village defenses, and the happiness of your clan members. The production values on this one are top notch. Cracking art style, lush soundtrack, and a stellar voice cast bring the wilds to life on the small screen. A successful translation from PC to mobile, Northgard is an eventful and atmospheric RTS worthy of your time. So how do you take one of the biggest PC MOBAs in the world and put it onto mobile without destroying it in the process? League of Legends Wild Rift is the answer to this question, and it's a really good answer. Effectively, the full League of Legends experience, Wild Rift keeps everything that makes its multiplayer lane battling progenitor so thrilling, while compressing certain elements to increase the pace for mobile players. The map is mirrored instead of asymmetrical to increase accessibility. Turrets have less armor, and the Nexus has neither turrets nor inhibitors protecting them, letting you cut through the battlefield that bit quicker. The character roster has been cut back as well, but for the most part, this is League of Legends and it plays way better on mobile than any of us expected. It's still early days, and the game is technically still in beta, but we think this is gonna be massive. Keep your eyes peeled. Say No More is a one-button adventure that takes place in a world where the word no has been banished. You play as an intern in a company full of jerks, who discovers a self-help tape that teaches you to say no at every available opportunity. Whether you deploy it against colleagues, CEOs, or even your best friend, you can scream it in a multitude of different languages with different emotional affectations. You can even get your enemy to let their guard down, allowing you to unleash an even more powerful no. Though it's obviously framed in a light-hearted way, the game is tackling issues like social etiquette, friendship, and workplace standards. And there's more substance here than you might initially expect. Your character is effectively learning to stand up for themselves while also using the word to stop their friends from doing themselves down. And despite this, it manages to be incredibly daft and entertaining at the same time. Worth a look if you're after something a bit different. Another game inspired by the classic Chinese fable Journey to the West, Unruly Heroes is a 2D platformer and hack and slash hybrid. Taking the role of Sanzung the Sleepy Monk, Wukong the Monkey King, Kihong the Greedy Pig, and San Monk the Sensitive Brute, you've got to recover fragments of the sacred scroll used to maintain balance and harmony in the world. All of which is to say you're going to be battering a whole bunch of weird fantastical beasties across a bunch of incredibly good looking levels. Some of the folks behind this worked on the mobile Rayman games, and it shows. The characters are rammed with personality, from the grunts to the bosses and the levels themselves challenge you with puzzles as well as enemies. There's a ton of variety, from each character's unique attacks to the rotating gallery of painterly backdrops. It feels simultaneously fresh and classic, 
and more importantly, it's just a lot of fun. This video is brought to you by Gordon Ramsay's Chef Blast. Smash cubes, ignite chilies, and unlock actual recipes you can prepare in your own kitchen. Available right now for free on iPhone, iPad, and Android.